Yeah, we had a card game Saturday night. That was kind of good. I got out of the house. It's the only time I left the house all weekend. Where'd you play this time if you moved it? We played over at Dominic's office. Dominic oh. Barber's office. The Garden City Hotel was uh, packed. Really? There was some Belmont thing going on this weekend. Some Belmont Steaks or what is it? Oh, was it the Belmont Steaks this weekend too? I don't know. Part of the Triple Crown. Is it? Yeah, it's two weeks after the uh, Preakness. I guess it was. I don't know why the Garden City Hotel was busy because of that. I guess that's the place to stay. So we couldn't get a room there. Mm. Is the show over yet? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to do it today. Can I go you home? You are cranky. You're very cranky. Oh, I'm really cranky. What are you doing with a Nick shirt on? Eh, just thought I'd wear it. Look kind of colorful. I thought it would look nice. <laughs> Saw my tattoos. What tattoos? My two tattoos. Do you still got those things on? Yeah, my no. my my uh, X Men oh. tattoo. <laughs> Man, held up. That yeah, look at them. Aren't they great? They're almost. I think they're real. <laughs> and Ralph said to me, "Don't you shower?" I go, "Yeah, I showered two or three times already, and it doesn't come off." Hmm. And it's... they're as bright as they were. Mm, no, they're a little faded, but pretty bright. Can I tell you? So, uh, what was they talking about? Card game. Oh, the card game. Had it at Dominic's office. Yeah, Dominic catered. He brought in food. We, we played Saturday night, and uh, Neil couldn't play because he had to go to a wedding, and Ronnie couldn't play because he had to go to a wedding. Oh. And the whole time I got there, uh, everyone was screaming, let's go to scores. Just go with, look at girls. So it's not even a card game anymore. Yeah, and I said, you know what? I can't go do that. I don't want to go into the city just to have some girls dance around naked and get me more horny. No, especially not on a Saturday night. Yeah, and remind me more of the fact that I don't get laid. <laughs> you might have to have sex on yeah. Saturday night. So I said to Dominic, why don't you just hire a couple of scores girls come dance at the card game? <laughs> but he never did it. No, because you know what happened is he goes, you really want that? I go, yeah, I would like that. He goes, all right, uh, I'll get that. And I go, no, 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 you really shouldn't. And when I say no, 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 don't get it, that means get it. Uh-huh. But I don't want to be the one to say go get scores, girl. Yeah, you're making the suggestion, and then the book yeah. will come out. How little always want it? Scores, girls. <laughs> yeah, so I just said forget it. So then there were no scores, girls there. And you know what? You should set up like a Las Vegas night kind of thing where you have different games and you have girl dealers yeah. and all that stuff. and. You know, you could have your one-on-one -on -one yeah. games where you could just talk to you know you you and your girl. Yeah, one-on-one -on -one card game. <laughs> yeah, you got you know you should have been a guy. You would have been a lot more fun. I don't know what's wrong with my you guys. Yeah. How come you can't think of this stuff? So uh, <laughs> anyway, so the game ended up being a bunch of different guys that usually plays. It was. Did you know them? No, there was some usual guys and some yeah. Well, we had it was me, Dominic. Dominic's a weird guy. Dominic's this lawyer we know. He's got really nice offices, too. So yeah. we, we first we ate in his conference room, and then we cleaned that up and played cards. And we had really good Italian food and all different dishes and chicken and sausage and, you know, all kinds of stuff. Noodles, uh, eggplant parmesan. You know, Dominic knows how to eat. You don't weigh 500 pounds and not know how to eat. That's a sin when you weigh 500 pounds and don't know how to eat. <laughs> And Dominic, of course, stands around the whole night and goes, Come on, everybody eat. And he doesn't eat a thing for a while. I was going to say, did he eat? I go, Dominic, why? You, you know you're salivating. Go and dig in and eat. No, 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 no. Everybody take first. Uh... You know, he's always the gentleman. Yeah. Meanwhile, the rest of the night, he's up at the table eating, and then he goes in another room and hides and eats because uh -huh. he disappears for about 20 minutes. Uh -huh. It's the funniest thing. We go, Dominic's eating. Dominic weighs like 900 pounds. Does he really think people don't know that he eats? <laughs> so you, so you got to hear who's at the card game. It's me, Dan Foreman, of course. Executive, oh, he got out. Executive producer of the Channel 4 News. Uh, I was worried about yeah. him. He goes, I always could get out. You guys make jokes on the air. My wife doesn't fuzzy with me. I, 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 the only thing I had to check was my schedule. I didn't have to check with my wife. <laughs> Every guy tries to sit and prove to me that he doesn't have to check with his wife. I'm the king of my house. Right. <laughs> So it was me, Dan, Dominic, Lloyd Lindsay Young. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I had to, you couldn't have had that card game without me. <laughs> it was my idea to invite Lloyd Lindsay Young. That's funny. Yeah, because uh, we were short a couple of guys, and I spoke to uh, Dominic and said, hey, you know, Dan is in a regular card game with Lloyd Lindsay Young. Invite Lloyd. 
Did Lloyd have any money? Lloyd Lindsay Young is this weather guy on Channel 9. Is he still on Channel 9? Because remember, the negotiation was going on, and his son got bumped. Well, I thought, oh, that's right, Lloyd still works there. I thought Lloyd, I, you know, in my confused state, I thought Lloyd was fired. No, his son was fired. Because I was in there bad mouthing Channel 9 to uh, Lloyd, and I'm going, that effing, and there's a guy there I hate. So I was, you know, screaming yeah, about him. Yeah. And uh, Lloyd, Lloyd wouldn't pipe in at all. Lloyd kept quiet. I realized. I, I was bad mouthing him to make Lloyd feel better. Right. You were trying to be on his side, but he's still in negotiation. Yeah, I didn't realize he's still employed there. Yeah. Because I was, I was goofing on, what is it, Gary? Um, whenever you, whenever you're done, I screen some calls for you if you're interested. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Oh, you good. can either talk to a woman in Albany who read something that Larry King said about you, or you can talk to a guy. I got to remember what other. Sorry, I was in the middle of talking about a card game. I know though. you told me to screen the calls. I didn't. Know yeah. What to do. Oh, okay. Guy had sex with his wife and a stepsister. Oh yeah. Well, maybe I ought to get to the card game in a minute. I, I, he, he's a bad producer. No, no, you said screen. Yeah, you no, know, it's okay. But when I'm in the middle of talking about something, now, now I'm into a new thing. All right, so just you're a bad I... producer. Goodbye. I get a new one. Right. Monkey. I gotta get a new one. I feel bad for you. Ralph said you were in a bad mood this morning. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> he comes in, in the middle of. Well, you think that you're on to another subject? Why wouldn't he? I don't know. He just had to break a roll. Leave. <laughs> uh, why don't you just give me lunch in the middle of breakfast? That's oh, what you just did. I thought you needed something. I thought you needed something to do, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> and he sits there with that dumb expression on his face, waiting for me to acknowledge him. Him his head. Anyway, where was I? Lloyd Lindsay Young. You had you were bad mouthing Channel Nine in front of him. Everybody on hold, just hold on, okay? I'll get to you after the commercials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got in there and I felt bad for Lloyd because I, you know, I said, Lloyd, man, I hate that effing Channel Nine, and I hate, you know, this is this certain guy. I'm not gonna say his name who I hate over there, but I really hate the guy. The guy's a filthy liar. And then he goes, he goes, he he, he wouldn't even answer. Oh. He was just like, oh, I'm not getting involved in this. And I was like, Hey, Lloyd, man, you got fired over there. He goes, No, I didn't. And I thought he, I said, Man, Lloyd's in denial. <laughs> Lloyd doesn't know he's been fired. He's not the Channel Nine weatherman anymore. Oh, no. Yeah, I swear. I I said to Ralph afterwards. That was the strangest thing. Lloyd not copping to the fact that he'd been fired. No, and I felt bad during the card game for the guy. He wanted to play Deuces Wild, and I never played Deuces Wild. So let Lloyd play Deuces Wild. You know why? I said, hey, the guy lost his job. <laughs> you know, and, and then I felt really bad when Lloyd was losing, because Lloyd evidently always loses. <laughs> Dan told me before the game, no matter what, Lloyd is always good for between 90 to $120, and then he's out. <laughs> and sure enough, Lloyd lost like $120. And then? Yeah, and yeah. then left. And, then, and someone saw him in the corner going through his wallet, checking to see how much money he'd lost. Oh, yeah, he was standing, <laughs> yeah, standing was in the corner like that. Did you see him doing that? Yeah. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> Count his 20s. Yeah, right. Does he just not know how to play cards, or did the luck just not fall in? He knows how to play. It's just, he just always loses. He's a loser. <laughs> it's Lloyd. It's Lloyd. <laughs> And it's real weird, too, because you know how it was really strange. Everyone was talking about it afterwards. You know how Lloyd on TV is like, you know, and now the weather. And at the game, he just sits there, doesn't say a word. It's like having a, it's like having a, a wooden puppet. <laughs> <laughs> but when he talks, he, he talks doesn't... in that voice. Yeah, and he's like, oh, Howard. Howard, I'm going to deal now. Yeah. I'll take one card. Yeah, like all of a sudden, they're like, they go, deuces wild. <laughs> and it's sort of like an explosion. It's not yeah. Like a yeah, it was kind of funny. How bad did you guys break his balls? Uh, take it easy. We, we took it easy on him because we all thought he was. No, yeah, well, we all thought he was fired. Yeah, I, I thought he was fired. Yeah, so did I. I felt kind of bad for the guy. <laughs> <laughs> then Lloyd looks like he's from another planet. You know that weird thing he does with his lips and everything? Well, he's got like his. He goes to, yeah, his <laughs> <lot of> lips, <laughs> he like, goes like this. Yeah, yeah, he does weird stuff with his mouth. Yeah. And, He's like, <laughs> I mean, if you start watching Lloyd too much, you're going to lose. Cause, yeah. Yeah. You get caught up. You get caught up in Lloyd. It's just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then Dan, who uh, worked yeah. with Lloyd for years, goes uh, and plays cards with him. Hey, hey, Lloyd, why don't you do your impression of, uh, uh what was it? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, right. He, was like, he, had, he has, like, Lloyd do stuff. So Lloyd performs. Lloyd does impressions of the World Wrestling Federation, the announcer at the World Wrestling Federation. And it has, it has him tell anecdotes. And yeah, yeah, it was weird. But talking. Lloyd won't talk unless Dan tells him so to talk. So Dan is his prompter. Yeah, Dan goes, hey, Lloyd, I did an impression of the World Wrestling Federation. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it's, it's weird. It was a weird card game. And then he's Dan's monkey. Yeah. <laughs> but we were playing with the Channel 9 weather guy. 
Uh, <laughs> Lloyd. He's a cool guy, though. I, I would play with him again. Yeah? You had yeah. fun with Lloyd? Yeah. He definitely added. Yeah, he did. Plus he lost. And then uh, Stan Dworkin was there, my lieutenant governor. Oh, so he got in. <laughs> yeah, who everybody didn't want to play with. <laughs> Nobody wanted to play with him, and I felt kind of bad. Yeah. I don't know, I thought oh. Stan was a, guy, a nice guy, but every, I guess he doesn't look cool because he has hair growing out of his ears. Oh, he didn't keep up with his grooming. So Dominic is sitting next to Stan Dworkin, oh. my, the guy, my running mate when I ran for governor. And um, Dominic starts, like, like when, when uh, Stan isn't looking at me, Dominic like turns his head and goes, Look, 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 hair in his ears, hair in his ears. Now, everyone has noticed that Stan has hair in his ears. Stan goes, is a werewolf. Yeah, right. And he goes, <laughs> hair in his ears. And I go, you know what? I just got pissed off. And I just said, hey, Dominic, take a look in the mirror. <laughs> How dare he? I mean, Stan has a couple of hairs growing out of his ears. Look at the... That he can't help. You've got a belly like Jello. And then, and then uh, Dominic evidently was having a party on Sunday, so he, he all Saturday he laid out in the sun to get this tan, <laughs> like a beached whale. Oh, no. Meanwhile, you know, a 900-pound guy with a tan, <laughs> it, it's like a tan? nothing's going to help. It was red. and He, he, he looked like an Indian. Tan tomorrow. How come you didn't play Sutter and John? It's Dominic in the phone. Yeah, right. How come you didn't play? So I was going to the shore with Stein. Oh. Sorry. Good. <clears throat> okay. He had a date. He had a date. Stein is in <laughs> Stein. Hey, man. Hello. <laughs> so Dominic got himself... Do, Dominic weighs like 900 pounds. At least. And then he had laid out in the sun. He goes, he goes, you know, I wanted to look good for my party. <laughs> oh, red. Ah. Meanwhile, you're goofing on Stan Dworkin's hair in his ears. Let me ask one You were so bloated. I may have missed the beginning of the story. Have you told the Dan Foreman story yet? Not yet. I haven't gotten to the good part oh, yet. No, this is just more. preamble. All right, I'll tell it now. It's incredible. So, <laughs> for about 20 minutes, we finally finish eating, which is like a, a food orgy. Dominic put out a big great? spread. Yeah, great food. Giulio Cesare in Mineola, the best. Did they give you free food? No. So, what are you plugging them for? I like them. All right. Next time, it'll be free. If Dominic goes and gets food, you know it's going to be good. Because when, when Dominic goes to get deli food and, like, Jewish food, he, he goes... He knows where to go. I go to the house. I have my driver drive all the way into the city and get trays of locks and white for Was it the best, the best we ever had? Was yeah, it was great. Game. We had really great Italian food. Great game. He even got home. Jaeger. Hey, wasn't it fun having Lloyd Lindsay Young to look at? <laughs> but nothing, <laughs> nothing compares to Dan. Nothing yeah. ever. All right, so Dan was... What is it? I just got to know why he doesn't like Stan's work. I like Stan. No, you I don't. You didn't want Stan to play, and then you were goofing on the hair in his ears the whole night. That's not true. I like him. But, you know, the, the election's over. Let's go on. We got senators, presidents. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I <laughs> How it does my voice the entire night now. That's it. <laughs> so, anyway... And Dominic only worries about me the whole night, like a wife. Right, he's watching you to make sure you're happy. And through, he, Dominic goes, uh, Howard, I've got a special fruit platter for you. A special fruit platter. Because I really like shrimp and fruit platter. God, get to everything. Yeah, and every minute he gets up, he goes, Howard, the watermelon is so sweet. Please, let me get to your piece. Oh, delicious. Delicious. You see the fruit platter? Yeah, the fruit platter. Dominic's little fruit after like 900 pounds of Italian food. <laughs> Come on, it's healthy. Look at this. Kiwi fruit. <laughs> oh, kiwi. Have a little feed to get on the ball. Dominic has to wear a special beeper in case Joey commits any felonies over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> He's on call. Yeah. <laughs> now, in the middle of the card game. Anyway, so we're in the middle of the Dominic. Don't you don't you tell the story because it's, he want, it's he's disaster. Say, he's decided it's time to go on. No, okay, you sorry, Dominic. Enough dishing on Dominic. Yeah, right. No, you got to hear this. Story. And, Do and Dom you know, Dominic's got like really nice law offices and stuff. Uh -huh. Thank you. And his name is out front, Dominic A. Barbara. Uh -huh. It's like written bigger than the McDonald's sign. <laughs> right on what what street are you on? Stewart Avenue. He's on Stewart you Avenue. Mean outside of the building. Yeah. Oh, it says yeah. Dominic A. Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you know, it, it should be a neon. One thousand thirty. Yeah. Well, actually, and then Dominic has like a, you know, his Rolls Royce Corniche parked out front and his limousine. And we had a bodyguard. <laughs> and his bodyguard. Oh man. We had Bill, this guy named Bill Stanton who was a bodyguard. Yeah, we had him there. He had a good, he was cool. He was the coolest guy there because he carried a gun. He had like a big gun on his on his uh, waist. Is that right? Cool. Yeah, he's cool. He's really cool. Yeah, he's got like guns and stuff. Yeah, he's like he's a pumped up bodybuilder uh -huh. with a gun. <laughs> you, know, you know, Ralph, you really behave very well at my office. How come? 
I did. Excuse I'm me, sorry. I'll try not to next time. Well, anyway, so the guy you? wears the guy wears this gun to protect the food, so Dominic won't lose any of it. <laughs> in case someone comes and tries to rob his food. So anyway, he's got to make sure that delivery is made. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so who else was at the game? Oh, and Bob, your driver. Right, Bob. Okay, Bob. Yeah. And Ratso for a little and while. And Ratso for a little while. I brought Ratso over. I love Ratso. Does Ratso play cards? No. He just oh. eats and then he, leaves. He I love him. I said, Ratso, Dom, you have a bunch of free food. You want to come over for dinner? He goes, okay. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> So we're playing cards. We're 15 minutes finally into the game. And it took like, tw and Wayne Siegel was there too. And we took like hours just to divide the chips up. And the food. And it just took forever. And we're finally going to get to play cards. And, and you know what? It's too many guys or too big a table or something, but... It's just like, it takes like forever just to get through one hand. Oh. You know, and I like to have cards being so, played. So, I mean, you don't have enough for two games? You got everybody at one table? Yeah, no, it was one table, but I don't know. It was just... I it was great. It slows down sometimes. It's just it. slow sometimes. Hmm. And then, uh, we're sitting there, we're 15 minutes into the game, and Dan and Ralph, are the, there's a huge pot on the table, okay? Good-sized pot. First big pot of the night. Everyone's out. Except for it comes down to Dan Foreman and Ralph. <laughs> They're the two guys left. Oh, what a team. And Dominic is sitting next to Dan, and I'm sitting next to Ralph, okay? And the game's going on, and they're like, you know, Dan's like, I'll raise you five dollars. <laughs> Ralph's like, sound you five dollars to see you five dollars back. And it goes on, and then, it, you know, it's seven card stud. Comes time to reveal your cards. Ralph reveals his cards, and he's got um, two pair. He has two, two pair. pair. He has two, two pair. pair. He has two pair. No, he's around. Oh, so oh, Dominic, you are just unbearable. Quiet down. Quiet down. So Ralph reveals his two pair. Okay. Dan goes, well, I beat you. I got two pair. He, he takes his cards out, and he, he has, I don't know, sevens and fives, okay? A better hand. Uh-huh. We look down at Dan's hand. He didn't have two pair. He has a pair. He only has one pair. Yeah. So we go, Dan, you only have a pair. He goes, that's it. I'm leaving. I, we go, what do you mean? He goes, Dominic switched my cards. <laughs> I know I started out, I had a pair of fives underneath, and Dominic took my cards and slid one of my cards out. All right, all right. So he goes, that's it, cash in my money, I'm leaving. Ooh. Two red fives, two red fives. So I got really pissed off, and I know I know Dominic must have done it, because Dan's really? a good card player. Dominic switched the cards. What is wrong with Dominic? I, so, I, Dominic, just admit it already. Stop. Number one, you have to understand that oh. not only he stands up, and the whole place, like, we don't know what to do. He's screaming about leaving. Yeah, but you switched the cards, didn't you? I swear. Not only did I switch the cards. Dominic maintains he didn't switch the cards. I think he did. I, I do. Him. Howard. What? How long have you been playing cards? I have never, ever been in the card game where somebody said that they had something and put it down and they had forgotten. Well, then you don't play cards a lot. Well, let me tell you I what happened. I've never heard of anybody ever doing that. No, what, what, it does happen. Like, I know. It's a mistake. Once in a while, you do look and you make yeah. a mistake. But wait a second. Let me just say something. So all of a sudden, Dan is yelling and screaming at Dominic. He really got angry. He got angry. I thought he was going to cry. He goes, I said, I'm leaving. Now, he, he had driven here with Lloyd Lindsay. So Dan didn't even have a car. <laughs> so Dan was going to get up and leave. And he goes, I don't care. I don't care if I don't have a car. I, I, I'll go. I'll walk right out now. And I, I'll get a cab. Or I'll just walk towards my field and get a cab. So he was like on fire. And he was cashing Meanwhile, his chips. He's at his funniest when he's mad. Yeah, right. Oh, he, you had to see it. You would have died. <laughs> so you guys. He was like, he was on fire. He was almost crying. He was going to get in a fist fight with Dominic. Oh. And Dominic was saying, I swear I didn't touch it. Meanwhile, Dominic had been yanking Dan all night because as soon as Dan would get up, he would steal his chips. <laughs> Dominic was swiping chips off the table off of Dan. <laughs> Dominic doesn't think I see what's going on. So, obviously, he must have screwed with Dan's card. <laughs> you I probably him did. What? $10,000 to a $100 bet. We both take a lie detector test. Whether I did it or whether he made a mistake. All right. So, anyway, then it gets real ugly. So, finally, I just stand up. I said, look, man, this is ridiculous. Ralph wanted the money from the winnings, and Dan wanted the money. from. I, ga oh. I, I gave it to Dan, and I gave $50 to Ralph. What well, was the pot? I, whatever it was, $50, $75. I gave, I gave him the money. Oh, man. And then Dan goes, Arr! and everyone calmed down afterwards, but it was like 20 minutes of fighting and yelling. and We ended this up splitting the This is supposed to pot. be a friendly card game. Yeah, but you know what? I can't figure out, did Dan make a mistake or did Dominic no, fix the cards again? Why would I switch the cards? It wasn't even funny. Giving you it was hysterical. Face, that's funny. <laughs> what? Giving you nah, you did it. I did not. Really? I swear I did not. So Dan made a mistake. No, but yeah, he made a mistake, and he, you know what happens? It's a two and a five. That might be the reason I thought about it. The two looks like the five, and that might have been the reason. 
But I, swear, I swear on the life of my children I did not do that. I swear on my life of my children I did not do it. And when I never robbed them, would I lie like that? I don't know you. No, you're not in court. Lawyer, no. You're a lawyer. <laughs> Listen, how about the special of the night, the Father Hamley special with Ralph? All right, Dominic, about? thanks for the call. What's he talking I about? Don't I don't know. I don't know. He's just so unfunny. He's got an agenda. Yeah, he's he got a whole thing. He had a card game you guys didn't have. Yeah, yeah, right. He, like, ruined but that the, story. For a couple of times, though, Dominic has done something to the cars because he did it with you. Yeah. So he is capable yeah, of well, doing Yeah, well, that. Dan started, stood up and goes, The last time Dominic did something with the cars, we swore we'd never play them again. And I'm not standing <laughs> for it. I'm not going to do it anymore. You don't know the history. Yeah, you don't know the history. And, and, and then, one of the, then Lloyd Lindsay Young was even like, Hey, what's the big deal? Come on, man, calm down. And, and then Dan was like, You don't know the history. You don't know the history. Only <laughs> once. Yeah, I know. He was just, he was on fire and <laughs> like almost tears. Tears in his eyes. Oh, I I'll, wish I'll, I could believe it. He was uh, red and yelling and screaming. And Lloyd Lindsay just sits there like, like, I think he's retarded. I don't know what he, he just <laughs> just wants to play cards. Yeah, he wants to play cards. He doesn't care. And it's like Dan was leaving. He didn't care. So who's dealing? Yeah. Oh. He didn't care. Yeah. How's the deal? I get another Coca-Cola. Yeah. It was great. The only thing Lloyd's missing is his drool on the side of his mouth. <laughs> he's a pisser, that guy. Yeah, he's great. I'll play with him again. <laughs> So anyway, that was my big Saturday night. We played to like one in the morning. I, of course, was the big winner. And How much did you win? I won like I don't know, five hundred bucks. Yeah, really? Yeah. You cleaned up in blackjack. I mean that. Yeah. I was winning big until blackjack. I cleaned up in blackjack, and then we play this stupid game where everybody just throws in forty bucks. Uh huh. What happens is first you throw in twenty bucks. So it's eight guys, twenty bucks, hundred sixty bucks in the pot. Dominic deals seven cards. Whoever wins the high hand, boom, wins. Yeah? No, you know, it's all luck. No uh, wrangling, no cards given. Stan Dworkin won the 20 buck pot. Then we played for 30 bucks. Stan Dworkin wins again. Uh -huh. But uh, yours, yours truly took the $40 pot, <laughs> so I, uh, I cleaned up pretty good. Oh, I was annoying funny. when Stan won twice. Yeah, Stan won so twice, was and so everyone annoyed. was pissed off. That's why Dominic doesn't want him there. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, so that was uh, my uh, night. Hey, I guess there's some people on hold. Maybe we lost them. I don't know. We'll be back right after these words.